Yeah, hey, good morning guys. It's Johnny Sunshine. Sitting out here. It's a little little cloudy this morning. We got a lot of rain last night, which was really nice. Dogs are enjoying being soaking wet and messy. And uh it's always good to get rain. We don't get it much rain at all here anymore. We used to when I moved here 35 years ago, 36 years ago. It rained every day at like four o'clock in the, during the rainy season. But man, we don't get much rain at all here anymore, man. The grass is all dead. I, it'll probably look pretty good by the end of the day today because it did get a good uh, dousing. So I've got a couple jobs to do today. Uh, one guy called, uh, he's got a tub spout with a diverter and the divert is shot it's probably all crusted up and whatever just needs to be replaced he's getting not getting enough water out of the shower hit when he pulls a diverter spout up unfortunately it's a uh looks like a fancy deal it's got an discussion up behind the uh the spout so we'll do the best we can to, to get it right or uh, it's acceptable anyways, but I'm not gonna be able to match what he's got there. I'm not gonna, you know, spend a day chasing around a spout uh, that matches. He can do that. I'll be happy to put it on. But uh, my first job is uh, I gotta go um, pull a toilet, one of those real fancy $3,000 toilets with the, all the bells and whistles, the electric butt wiper, uh, hemorrhoid sensor um colonoscopy giver uh yeah and it smells like urine the guy's complaining that um it stinks he said it wasn't installed properly so i'm gonna go up there see if i can figure it out those these toilets and this one in particular does not have any bolts to hold it down you basically just caulk it in, shim it, and uh, use some DAP. And DAP is an adhesive. It'll hold that toilet down. And uh, he just needs to stay off of it for a couple of days once I shim it and caulk it in. Uh, but that's, so that's my, my deal today. Tomorrow I gotta go up to Moffitt. Uh, I've got an appointment with my, my hematologist. Uh, get my blood work checked um, My next appointments in August the end of August with my other uh, Doctor I have two doctors at at Moffitt Great doctors dr. Mishra. She's a beautiful Indian woman smart as can be and my man dr. Kubal smart as can be guy's gonna run a hospital someday for sure but uh yesterday was a good day it took me a lot i don't know man i was struggling to get that video up yesterday for some reason uh my stuff was all jammed up and slow i hope everybody enjoyed that i'm trying to not swear so much i'm really making uh a concerted effort to not swear so much i know it's it's not professional and you know I know how to act when I'm when I need to I need to I can but that's really who I am I just let it loose you know but I can I can uh, I can act like I'm respectable <laughs> I'm kidding anyways Let's see what we can get into today. It's about 7.30, maybe 8. Oh, it's about 8 o'clock. I just called a woman about a water heater. And uh, she was given my name by somebody else I put a water heater in for. And she's a realtor. And she wants to give these people that just bought a unit, instead of like buying, giving them a home warranty for a year or something, she said, I want to buy a water heater for him because it, on the uh, on the report it said it needed to be replaced. But it's a, uh, 
30 or 40 gallon low boy up on a shelf in the garage and I shot her a price and she's like and she said well what if I buy it and uh, I said well I don't do that I just don't I don't install other people's water heaters um, just because of warranty issues and because you're trying to get around paying me to put a water heater in is basically the reason I don't do it but you get into warranty issues if the thing stops working she provided it if it doesn't have if the problem has nothing to do with the installation and it's a, an issue with the water heater she needs to pay me for that service call and that's why you know when you buy a water heater from me you can consider it an extended warranty where I'm gonna take care of it uh, so anyway she said uh, it's funny man she's like well do you have anything available on uh, in like uh, June 24th or something I'm like what it's a fucking month away honey I said you just need to call me a day or two in advance tell me you need me out there and I'll be there that's it and the other thing is I told her and I tell everybody I said you need to get at least three more three prices call other plumbing companies see how they operate they'll tell you we need to set up an appointment and they'll have a salesman go out and look at it and uh, you know shoot you a real high price and then tell you in a couple of days they'll be out to do it and uh, so I encourage them to do that just to feel feel out what's what's out there the other companies and how they operate I've done so many water heaters that it's really not a surprise I get a picture of it just to make sure there's no like a research system or something that's going to make me do extra work you know if I have to connect the water I mean a research system I got to pull the drain valve off and either you know buy the uh, drain valve with a, a side outlet or make my own out of copper it's just extra work and I, I need to get paid for that so a picture always helps I ask for a full full length picture standing back and then I ask for a picture of the tag on the water heater so I'm putting in there I need to know how many watts the, the elements are and I need to know the model number uh, for size you know and uh, get the correct water heater but that eliminates me having to go out there and look at it um, it's a one trip deal I got about two hours in picking up a water heater putting it in and dumping it back off at the supply house so we'll see she'll give me a call I'm sure uh, or maybe she's thinking ah, I'll just give them a home warranty let them deal with the heater <laughs> I don't know but uh all right, it's kind of a crappy day, man. I gotta say, oh, sunny Florida isn't too sunny. I will say that I did get my my new T-shirts. Let me go in here and show you these guys. I got my summer. My, I'm wearing my red socks, man. My red socks jacket. But I'm gonna show you my new my new T-shirts, man. You can see me coming for a mile, Jackson. Hang on, just hang tight, guys. The next ones I get. John Phillips Plumbing. Started in 1997. When I got there, the lady, I said, well, I just want to look at them and make sure they're right. And, uh... I open a box, I yank one out, and I said, hey, uh, you got the phone number wrong. And the lady's face turned fuck. I could see the blood draining out of her face. And I was like, I'm kidding with you. I'm a jokester. Uh, anyways, that's it. The next one, it's got, a, got my name on the front, no pocket. As I said, I may have, you may have caught this in one of my other videos that, uh, I I tried on, you know, I got a, Mil, a free Milwaukee shirt at Milwaukee's uh, Milwaukee Day at the Supply House. And I liked the cut of its jib. Look, that's that little statement up. Uh, 
but anyways I so I I read the name I got the name of the t-shirt and I called her up and I said I want that t-shirt the same exact one and uh, it's a Gildan 100% cotton uh, extra large they fit me good they look good they enhance my you know god-given good looks what can I say guys it is what it is but anyways on the next round of these i am gonna have them right on the sleeve yeah yeah because that's my thing man it just came about and uh it wasn't anything i thought i've been doing it my whole life and when i have to put a little bit of ass into something a little bit of strength um and uh so i'm gonna put that on the sleeve on the bottom of the sleeve with like a lightning bolt or something some kind of design check it out but i like them man i think yellow's my color man it really does make me look better my complexion looks better i think it's the glow of the the yellow you know it's like holding one of them what do you call them things those buttercups you put under your chin when you were a kid yeah it makes you glow man and uh so i'm happy with them man i got 25 of them i will send some to some of my nicer subscribers if they wanted one unfortunately they're a hundred bucks a piece <laughs> kidding i'm kidding anyways enough of this I'm going to get ready to go to work. I got a, uh, about a 20 minute drive to this place. So I'm going to get out of here early. And uh, I want to finish early today. And then get ready to go to the uh, Moffat tomorrow. And tomorrow, I'm not going to work tomorrow. It'll be the end of my week today. So I'm looking forward to that. All right. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe. Make some money. Be kind. Try a random act of kindness today, man. I did it yesterday. I bought a nurse lunch, man. I was standing in line, and uh, there was a black woman, two, a black nurse, two, two people in front of me, and uh, they rang up her food, and I, I heard the cashier say, that'll be $19 and something cents, and I was like, you know, I just got a $50 tip from this woman. And I went over up to the nurse. I said, are you a nurse? And she said, no, I'm, I'm not a nurse. I'm a, an assistant, you know, whatever. Uh, they, they help you out a lot. And I said, well, I just want to tell you that I appreciate what you do. Uh, people like you were a big part of my recovery. And I would love to buy you lunch if you let me. And... Uh, keep doing what you're doing and I bought her lunch and it made me feel great it made her feel great the woman who was standing between us it made her think and the cashier was blown away so you can you can change things in this country just by be the change you want man you know what I'm saying be the change you want and I told him, this guy who lives with me, he's uh, my new tenant. He, list, he's a, he was a trumper, so, you know, we got problems. But I'm, I'm good, you know? But I told him, I said, listen, and, listen, man, the shit you are feeding into your mind body and soul by watching this stuff that does nothing but create anger in your life you need to stop it man especially at his age 83 years old you know just be happy man don't feed the good the bad wolf you ever hear the old story the good wolf and the bad wolf yeah don't feed the bad wolf man sometimes you got to read that again and uh Yeah, that's all I'm saying, man. Nourish your soul 
and we can all get along here in America. That's it. That's, that's my spiel for today. I don't know where all of this, how it all comes together. Uh, I probably have some sort of a condition, undiagnosed, or just ignored. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you on this fancy toilet, man. I can't wait. It's got a siren in case things go really bad, and it's got a 911 button. You know, if you blow out a fucking hemorrhoid, oh, excuse me, if you blow out a roid, or you stand up and the roid's still sitting in the water, yeah, it's, it's pretty fancy, man. So we'll see what we can get into today, guys.